Hey guys, Ashen1 here, and welcome to this God of War Ragnarok video on how to get the Making Amends Silver Trophy very early on in the game. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, and join and follow me on Discord, Twitch, and TikTok. Links in the description. Okay, so as soon as you finish the prologue, you will first come to Svartalheim, and once you have made your way through the Dwarves' town of Nidlvele, you will find yourself in a non-linear portion of the realm where you get to explore and do side quests. If you head to this island here, the Watchtower, we can start the Weighted Chains quest, which gets us the Making Amends trophy. From Sindri, just climb up and come to this locked door here. Mimir will talk about a past wrong. Climb back down and head north from the beach in the boat to this small island with the geyser. Once here, the weighted changes favour will start. Blow up the rocks, kill the lizards at their den, and then climb around to this area. Kill more lizards, and another nest, and then move the wheel and lock it in place with the leviathan axe. Head back to the wall we were just climbing on, and then head right to get on top of the elevator that we just moved and locked in place. Recall the leviathan axe, and the elevator will move up, allowing us to crash through the breakable floor here. In this cave, kill the troll enemy and the lizards, and then open the chest for the watchtower key. Then head back south to the watchtower island, and open the locked door. Once in, have Atreus hit the gong with an arrow, and then sit back and watch the spectacle. The small island we were just on is now revealed as a giant living creature called a Lingbucker, which we now need to unchain. Head back to the island, but to the new boat dock just halfway down its body. Climb up, kill the enemies, and then use the pot here on the right to clear the path to the first of the Lingbucker's chains. Now that the beast has moved, just backtrack a little to the area where we just fought the enemies, and jump across the gap, and then from here, climb up. Now up here, we can go up for chests and loot, but I will just keep going. Jump across the gap, kill some more enemies, and then drop the chain and head down to the second of the Lingbarker's chains. Okay, two out of three, not bad. The nest and lizards that spawn are hiding an explosive pot vendor, which we need to keep using to clear the path and free chests around the giant beast island. Pick up a flaming pot and throw it all the way down here to clear this boat dock. And then as Atreus says, get back in your boat and head for the newly freed dock. Climb all the way up, and then get ready to fight a horde of enemies. Once cleared, it's worth just opening this shortcut gate first, to the start, and remember, you can start using the explosive pots to clear up the chests. Head up here, and to the final chain. This time you need to zip line to the island to see the actual chain to break it. Get the legendary chest, use the chaos blades to break open the door, and now head back to the Lingbucker's eye in your boat. Find the prompt and click circle and let the dialogue unfold. Once all is said and done, you will get the silver trophy making amends. Nice. So there you have it guys, let me know how God of War Ragnarok is going for you in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!